Right guys, um, yeah I'm at Liverpool South Parkway Railway Station this morning. Now the reason why I'm just taking a flight to the Isle of Man with EasyJet, uh, one of their shorter scheduled flights and I wanted to see how easy it was to get to Liverpool John Lennon Airport um, by train. Um, now I think there is um, some kind of Air Link bus service from here over to the airport so I'll tell you what let's go and um, see what it's all about and um, hopefully get on the bus and I'll tell you how much it costs as well and how long it takes to get there well, let's go and try it out okay so whenever I've flown from Liverpool John Lennon in the past I've just driven up here and left the car in one of the nearby parking lots which is fine uh, but what if you don't drive well, Liverpool South Parkway is the nearest railway station and it also serves as a bus interchange. Now, as well as mainline services between Crewe, Manchester and Liverpool, it's also on the Merseyrail Northern Line. Now, formerly known as Allerton Railway Station, I remember coming here when I was younger and watching South Liverpool play football from the old platforms. I think they're still in existence, but uh, they must have moved grounds a while back because uh, once Allerton station closed in 2005, the new station concourse, a bus station and car park were built on what would have been the old pitch. The current station officially opened on the 14th of July 2006. It has six platforms, four on the main line and two on the northern line. And the bus station, which we are heading to now, serves the Merseyside area and also the airport via the Airlink service, which you can see is clearly signposted once you're on the walkway above the platforms. Uh, so I'll tell you what, it's, it's quite a nice station actually. First impressions and all that. Modern. Looks like there's one or two buses outside. I don't know which one we need yet. Now uh, we need to show our tickets at the exit as well by the looks of it. A uh, nice touch with the giant pot plant I thought, uh, which is much better looking than its neighbours, the see-through bin and the traffic cone. Now, the manned ticket barriers are just here and after proceeding through them you're basically out into the main concourse with the bus stands directly ahead of you. Now, stand 4 is the airport shuttle bus stand, um, again clearly marked here, and the timetables uh, for services 80A and 86A are located just to your left. Okay, so it looks like in every 30 minutes uh, 27 and 57 minutes past the hour, Monday to Friday. Saturdays and Sundays are less frequent service by the looks of it. That's the 80A, and then there's the 86A. I think they just go via different roads, uh, which is fine, isn't it? Because um, it looks like there's one about every 15 minutes here, so between them, it's going to be a fairly frequent service. Um, and I don't know how much you pay, or where you pay for it, maybe on, presumably on the bus, I'm not quite sure, but overall it's not too bad, there's a Costa there. And also there's a link to the Merseyrail um, Northern Line, um, platforms 5 and 6 just down there. Uh, so yes, yeah, it's, it's quite, a, quite, a, quite decent transport links really. And here it is, the first one to arrive, which was the ATA service, uh, operated by Arriva Merseyside. A quick search on the internet told me that um, this is a Volvo B5LH Wright Gemini 3. And if you look on the side here, it uh, also says it's an electric hybrid. Uh, we paid cash on the bus and a single adult ticket was £2, which I thought was pretty reasonable really, and a lot cheaper than some other airport bus links I could mention. Because we were carrying luggage, uh, we didn't bother going upstairs, which is unusual for me, as I love being on the top deck of a double-decker bus. And the driver quickly got going. Uh, the ATA, incidentally, starts at the main Liverpool 1 bus station in the city centre. And from there to the airport, it's timetabled at about 52 minutes. However, from South Parkway here, it's only scheduled to take 14 minutes. 
Now all buses on Merseyside are designed with accessibility in mind. Now you have a large wheelchair space here and step free access on boarding. Now I've got to say, it wasn't the smoothest of rides as we made our way towards the airport. And quite bumpy in parts really. But the bus itself I thought was quite smart and plenty of leg room between the seats as you can see here. There is also USB connectivity and free Wi-Fi, uh, though I didn't really have time to try that out on this short journey. Now here's the thing right, is this a proper Airlink service? Uh, well in my opinion, uh, no it's not. Now the reason I say that is, uh, it just stops at normal bus stops along the way, uh, so most people using the bus aren't actually heading for the airport. In fact I counted nearly 50 five zero potential stops on the route from the city centre. So, so no wonder it takes so long to get here. What do you think? Um, for me a dedicated airlink service will start in the city centre and maybe it'll pick up a one or two interchanges on the way uh, but that's it. It will likely cost you more money yeah uh, but uh, you get there a lot quicker. I mean, this uh, it's just a normal bus route really that happens to finish at the airport but it's inexpensive, uh, connectivity is great, and the facilities are absolutely fine. And I like it for what it is, but uh, yeah, what do you think? Please let me know in the comments below. Cheers, mate. Anyway, we arrived at Liverpool John Lennon and as you can see the bus drops you right outside the departures hall, which is another advantage, isn't it? Right guys, um, yeah we're here at Liverpool John Lennon Airport and the bus from Liverpool South Parkway took um, approximately 13 minutes and uh, yeah it was £2 one way which I think is a flat fare um, for any journey in the um, Liverpool area. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong on that, uh, but yeah let me know what you thought. Um, it's not bad really if you're um, travelling to South Parkway on the train uh, and they're fairly frequent service as well. So I'm going to go inside now, um, as I said we're flying to the Isle of Man this afternoon. So yeah just going to get through to Airside and find out which gate we're departing from and um, we'll get on our way shall we? And I'll see you on the plane. I think Liverpool John Lennon is a smart, fuss-free, uh, usually uncrowded and easy airport to depart from. OK, it doesn't have the connectivity of some of the other airports in the area, such as Manchester or Birmingham, but it is improving. Uh, Lufthansa now fly direct from here to Frankfurt, for example. Uh, to the left and up the stairs or lift to departures and security, it wasn't long before we were airside and waiting for our flight EZY 635 to the Isle of Man. EasyJet's second shortest route actually at um, just 144 kilometres um, or 89 miles. Uh, scheduled to take 40 minutes, I reckoned we would probably be in the air about half that time. In fact, um, we probably spent a good chunk of it standing on the stairs that lead down to the ramp. Anyway, we eventually headed for the aircraft, which had incidentally flown in from Malaga. Uh, it was a 16 and a half year old Airbus A319 GEZAG. It was a lovely day for flying, uh, we boarded uh, by the front steps and before long we were taxiing out to runway 27. We enjoyed the takeoff as we head out over the Mersey before turning northwest over the Wirral and climbing to just 14,000 feet this afternoon, after which we would almost immediately begin our descent again into Ronalds Way Airport on the Isle of Man.
policy for fast policy belt turn and turn and remain seated. Move within the cabin must be limited. We recommend that you keep your seatbelt fastened whenever you are seated. If you need to leave your seat, please keep the aisle clear to allow others to pass by and take care of opening the overhead locks in case anything falls out. So let's locate the T-Chan, they have no lock for it to make detectors. Smoking is not permitted on board at any time, this includes the cigarettes. Please ensure that there are no more than two people here for the toilet to avoid congestion. Due to COVID-19, public health authorities recommend frequent times washing with soap and water so that you can be nose and mouth and sneeze or coughing and avoid touching your face. Shall we commence our beast show service for this for today's short flight? We have a selection of hot drinks, soft drinks, spirits, wine, beers and a variety of sweet and savoury snack items. The only accept payment by credit debit or maestro card and contactless is our preferred method payment. Please be advised we do not accept cash. Due to the short duration of this flight, drinks and snacks will be on a request only basis. If you do require any drinks or snacks, then please press your call bell now and a member of crew will be happy to serve you at your seat. Please now sit back, relax and enjoy this very short flight. If we can leave any further assistance, please do not hesitate to contact one of us. Thank you. Okay, so we landed on runway 26 after a grand total of 20 minutes in the air. Uh, no time for any refreshments, really. Uh, yeah, I don't think they do much business on a flight this short, but they did offer, to be fair. Welcome to the Alaman, where their time is quarter to three. Electronic de devices may not be used if they're within reach for calls, messages and internet access. Keep your seatbelt fast and remain seated until the seatbelt sign is switched off. The doors are open and you're invited to disembark. Take all your personal belongings with you, checking in the seat pockets underneath the seat and in the overhead lockers. Take care when opening the overhead lockers in case anything falls out. Please do not leave any rubbish on board the aircraft. Please respect social distance and allow time and space for others as you leave the aircraft. Smoking is not permitted until you reach a designated smoking area. Thank you for choosing to fly with us today. We look forward to welcoming you on board again soon. Bye. Thank you. Uh, disembarking via the front stairs again, it was a quick walk across the ramp to the terminal building and once through arrivals we made our way outside uh, where we had a short wait before taking our final journey of the day, another bus into Douglas Town Centre. Okay then guys, uh, yeah, Isle of Man, I just got here from um, Liverpool on the EasyJet Air, one of their Airbus A319s, a really quick flight, 20 minutes uh, from takeoff to landing. So yeah, just waiting for the bus now, which is going to take us into Douglas. 
and um, yeah, I've got um, quite a few ideas for the next few days and um, plans to have different modes of transport and apparently the Isle of Man is really good for that sort of thing so I hope to um, see you on a few more videos I'm going to be making of those and uh, in the meantime guys thanks very much for watching and I shall catch you on another adventure soon as always cheers for now <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.